What's up, everybody? Good evening, this glorious Saturday evening here at the St. James Show. I am your host. I'm your sweet daddy. I am your apostle, your provider. And tonight, I am your prophet. All right. <laughs> St. James. Thank you for joining us. Oh, man, it has been a rainy, rainy day here in California. Is it rainy where you are? What's up, Inspire? Thank you. Inspire? So I guess you're up with us tonight. Huh? I know the East Coast, it's midnight over there. So thank for my East Coast folks for hopping in. CBBJ is up in here. What is going on? Lokovic is here tonight. What's up, man? Who else do we have? Hey, what's going on? The new old Taraba night. Oh, yeah, that's the. Um... So let me tell you something. I was over there on your page. Uh, you was over there with some strippers. What was you doing over there? You, you, so you belong right here at the corner church sector. <laughs> the new old Dakota 1908. <laughs> what is up? Uh, our silent night, Marcus Terry. Good to see you in the building. Ben, the boss. Greetings, Mobile. Oh, so you're in Mobile. Uh huh. Yeah, you gotta go over there and check that out. She over there with some strippers. <coughs> I said, Oh, they let that even on YouTube. She belong over here. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, everybody? It is a shady. Messy Saturday. And right now, it's just some, some shady meditations tonight. We're going to go over. Before we make sure that you are liking, you are sharing right now, feel free to comment in the chat respectfully. Join, join, join the St. James Show. Subscribe and also donate. Now tonight, I'm welcoming the members to come on live. You don't have to cam up. Um, there, there is a message in members only on the community board, and I will put the link right there on the members only community board. Um, and if you would like to come up and just chill out on the panel and talk about what I'm talking about tonight, then you definitely feel free to do that. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that uh, together right now. I'm going to send that over there. Uh, I should have did it earlier, but I didn't do it, but we're going to do it now. So while I'm doing this, make sure that you are, you are um, pressing like and you are sharing right now, right now. All right. Let's, let's bump that. Oh, man, we got so much to talk about tonight. I wanted to just come up, everybody. Everybody got a drink. What are you drinking tonight? Put in the chat what you're drinking. I have a little red semi-sweet wine tonight. I picked it up at Total Wine. You know, I have to always do my Total Wine runs. Total Wine just has a plethora of communion beverages that all saints should partake of. In a very modest way, all right? Very modest way. So make sure that you are partaking. Oh, cognac. Inspire got cognac. Okay, all right. See, okay. 1908 got a crown, peach, and Sprite. Hmm. <coughs> Ooh, that's good. What do I usually drink with crown, peach? I usually do crown, peach, and simply peach juice. The simply brand. If you get some of that, It'll bless your spirit. I tell you, it'll lift them. It'll lift you. It, it will lift the heavy burden. Lokovic says he got gold peak extra sweet tea. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now all you need to do is add you a little uh, 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 caramel whiskey to that, caramel flavored whiskey, and you'll be doing all right. And that that'll bless you also. So yes, you know what? Let me while I'm doing that, I need to still go over here and put that link. In the community uh, for our, the members. So, if you want to become a member, of course, it, the the uh, link is in the description right now. So, um, go right to the description, click on there, and become a member. Become one of my favorite saints, or become one of my big tithers. There's two 
particular um, <clears throat> plans there. And of course, you can always donate memberships. Unfortunately, I think it does go to the highest tier if you donate them. It won't go to the lowest, which they should let you choose. But unfortunately, <clears throat> they do not. They don't let you choose. So, and that sucks. That really does. But I do have some big tithers, so I don't want to take that away. And I want to appreciate them. Let me edit that. Putting the link to jump up on the panel later if you guys want to, if the members want to. So there is the link in members um, on the community bar. All right. You know what we're going to do? Uh, she said I should, you should crown, <clears throat> try crown apple. Apple. Oh, that apple moonshine. You trying to. I got enough hair, honey. On me and a splash of Sprite. Okay. <laughs> your soul, your mate will love. Mm. So the apple moonshine with the crown apple with a little bit of Sprite. Ooh. I think she knows what she doing. Yes, I, I think she knows what she's doing. Is that <laughs> ah. Ah, what's going on? Listen here, y'all. Check this out. So I was cruising these YouTube streets and stumbled upon an article. And I wanted to bring that article to you guys and to have the, the broader picture uh, of what is kind of going on these days. But before we get there, thank you so much, each and every subscriber. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, subscribers. You, not only did you hit, make me the 14th, but you gave me an extra over 100 within a day or so. So thank you so much. We are climbing Jacob's ladder, and every round gets a little higher and higher. So thank you, all subscribers. Listen here. You know, this man right here, Greasy Lips, Convicted felon. Um, if you ask me, I would say wifeless. Lamar Whitehead, not Miller Whitehead. Miller is still questionable. Not sure about the Miller. But Lamar Whitehead. He quotes a scripture often that says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet. No harm. Now, it's still questionable as to why he's, you know, putting that to him. We know he's no prophet. He's an alleged uh, setup of, uh, of a robber of his church. You know, he's a convicted felon, a convicted uh, attempted extortionist, identity thief. Uh, he's, you know, convicted of stealing $90,000 from a, you know, I ain't going to say elderly because woman wasn't elderly. She was just an older woman because I think she was still like in her early 60s, maybe or late 50s. But anyway, he stole her money and the courts said he did it. So he always says about this scripture about not touching the anointed. Now, when we really look into that scripture, I don't know if it actually pertains. Uh oh, I didn't post that. I don't know if it actually pertains to him, because if you look it up, it talks about um, touch not my anointed, but it ha it says that, you know, you have to be really chosen and, and don't touch the chosen of God. Don't lay hands on the prophet. Don't bring them no harm. Um, I'm not sure because the Bible says many are called, but very, very, very few are chosen. So. Uh, we're not going to put that title on the white head tonight, but we are going to talk about some other prophets that uh, I stumble. You sick? Of, I'm so sick of him. I don't know what to do. 
Oh, I'm sick of him. Yeah, wifeless. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Convicted and anointed. Well, he's been anointed to have a wonderful prison ministry. And with lips as greasy and thick and juicy like as he has, and he likes to grease up and get ready. I believe that he will have no problem getting top ramen noodles and some hostess cakes, getting some uh, Capri Suns. I don't think he'll have a problem at all because his wife, Bubba, will make sure that he is well taken care of. And we will hear this judgment on July 1st. But we're not here to talk about that false problem. <clears throat> what are we going to talk about? Without repentance. So you don't have to listen. You can be a scammer. You can be a convicted felon. You can be whatever you want to be and still have a gift to trick the body of Christ. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. What's up, wild card? Ava's in the house. What's up, Ava? So let's check, take a look at what I'm speaking of. Uh, where are we? I'm going to share my screen here. Which one am I going to do? Okay, let's do this one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where are we at? Pop on the screen. There you go. There you go. This for Christian Post, and we know the Christian Post is pretty much, you know, Credible. Now they're a little conservative over there, but uh, they generally have the right uh, stories. Please hit like right now. All right. <clears throat> Let's build this algorithm up so we can get some folks in here to uh, I want to teach. Can I teach? Somebody just say teach. Would you tell me to just teach? I don't want to preach tonight. You know, the past. Say, I don't want to preach. I just want to teach. Well, you type teach in the chat for me. If you do that, I'll, I'll continue. If you do that, if I see some teach in the chat, I, I'll teach this thing for you. Give you some instruction. There you go. Thank you, Denise. I see you. I see. Thank you, Shelby. God bless you. Prophecy for sale. Prophets mimic psychics charging up to $555 per call. Ain't this about a blip, as they used to say? This man is P Prophet Passion Java out of Zimbabwe. But you know he lives in the United States. Some 27,000 years ago, the prophet Micah, we're in the Bible, warned that prophets tell fortunes for money. That's what the prophet Micah said. The business of prophecy selling <clears throat> continues in 20. 24. And before we go on, let's make sure we in the book. Let's let's make sure. Listen here. Let me let me put the disclosure up. Well, let me just state my disclosure. I'm here to offer information. If you don't like the information I'm offering, that's your choice. I'm here to offer the information, give it to you for consideration, and you can take do with it what you want. If you want to continue following who you're following, giving who you want to give to, I hope you do it. And I hope it satisfies whatever you needed to satisfy in your life. But don't come at me because I'm just providing some information to you. All right. So Micah, back in, you know, way back in the Bible day, 27,000 years ago, Micah said in Micah 3, 11, her elders judge for a bribe. Her priests teach for a price. And her prophets tell fortunes for money. Yet they look for the Lord's support and say, is it not the Lord among us? No disaster will come upon us. But we don't need to stop there. Then it goes on to say, therefore, because of you, Zion will be plowed like a field. Now, we're not talking a kind of plowing that 
you know, you probably some of you got did that way on to this evening or you're saving it to after St. James goes off where you will be plowed. But we're not talking about that kind of plowing tonight. When we're talking about the kind of plow when Shirley Caesar said that, you know, they was there was a man named Shouton John when he was out on his field and they were plowing and she did the little plowing, plowing. That's the plow we're talking about. Therefore, because of you, Zion will be plowed like a field. Jerusalem will become a heap of rubble. The Temple Hill, a mound overgrown with thickets. Okay. So the Bible already told us this is what's going to happen. So nothing comes to us. You know, we're not taken by surprise. Not at all. Mm -mm. <laughs> he said, Java been scamming for years. Well, let's read about old Java. Tangani Java, a.k.a. Passion Java. Don't that sound a little bit more, more money-ish? If I change my name from Pangani to Passion, oh, that's at least $555 a call, at least. Okay. The flamboyant Zimbabwe born but Maryland based preacher, better known as Prophet Passion Java. And just to get a little clips of him, uh, this is old, this is old Passion. Look at old Passion. Don't you have a lot of passion? Uh huh. Was I not talking about being swallowed? Uh, yeah, I was talking about being swallowed and plowed. Yeah, but the Bible, we want to talk about that kind of plow in the night. That's the kind of plowing that over there, over there, you know. We're talking about a different churchy plowing. Now, this is this is Prophet uh, Passion Java. Guava, guava, Java. Okay, let's keep going. All right. A uh, Maryland-based preacher, better known as Prophet Passion Java, finances his lavish lifestyle by preaching the prosperity gospel and charging his followers $555 for phone calls. Passion Java is well known for wearing expensive designer clothing and driving high-performance sports cars while uh, attracting scrutiny from, the, uh, from profits and watches. His Instagram account has 7.9 million followers. My goodness. On his website, Passion Java promotes one-on-one -on -one phone calls for $555 and discloses there are no refunds. Absolutely not. Testimonials on the website sound similar to ads for psychics. Now I went on to see what was the what were these people talking about? I want to hear some of these testimonials. So I carried my happy behind over there to his website. Let's pull that up. Okay. Let's read some of these $555 uh, 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 testimonials. And as you can see, one-on-one -on -one, uh, phone call with Prophet Passion, <coughs> Passion Java. Cost five hundred and fifty-five dollars. I did want Yvonne C says I just wanted to say that after my one-on-one -on -one with Prophet, I got a phone call from work that I'm being promoted from ward nurse to nurse advisor. The job will be office space, and this is a big surprise for me as I was concerned about going back to work on a busy ward after being sick and off work for five months. God made a way for me. Also. I received a sum of money I was waiting for for a while. I got both surprises in one day. I thank God. Blessings. Now, Yvonne, if you went to school, you did your job, you desired to be promoted, and you got the job, it is not because you paid Prophet Java. $555. Okay. Uh, I had one on one with Pastor Prophet Passion in August. He prophesied that within six months, you will have your visa. My visa has been approved by Canadian authorities. 
this 31st of December, 2020. Much love and respect. All you had to do was fill out an application and they would have approved your visa with the proper paperwork. I don't think you had to pay Java $555 and then give him the credit for your visa being approved. Woo, this is a good gig, Java. I'm going to join your thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's read one more. This is this mirror coming back to say thank you for the prophecy. Grandpa Prophet Passion. Now he a grandpa? Hmm. I know they call Lobi Papa Lobi. Grandpa, this man don't look but 30 years old. Passion prophesied on March 4th, 2020 that the film Lost and Found, which I wrote, produced, directed, and starred in would break out and be big. It is now happening where back to back I am receiving awards. I received my first award as Best Lead Actress and Best Indie Film from the New York Film Awards. I thank God for being planted with this powerful man of God, a true seer, a great guidance. Thank you all so much, family. Isn't that good? For only $555, church pimping at its finest, mental vibes. That's what mental vibes is saying. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's go on back to uh, the article. Let's see. Oh, it's a wonderful article. Some of our favorites are about to be mentioned, so hold on to your seats, everybody. Don't go nowhere. All right, let's see what we got. Let's go back. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Ooh, this, this wine is getting to me, not, not to my head, to my throat. It's getting to my throat. It's kind of strong. Mm -hmm. All right. According to the so-called prophet's website, there is a long wait to receive a call from Passion Java. Please be advised that after registering, one-on-ones are based on prophet schedule. The average waiting time is five to six weeks, but can fluctuate. So now, you have to pay your five fifty five to even book the to schedule it. So after you pay your five hundred and fifty five dollars, then within five six weeks, whatever the prophet has a little time for you, he'll get to you. Thank you for waiting in a timely manner as we are experiencing high volume of registers. Boy, I tell you, <clears throat> what a great gig. If Passion Javi makes four calls a week, he will generate over $100,000 in one year from calls. Passion Java also gives prophetic messages during his sermons. As in a January 1st video, prophesied he will acquire a private jet in 2024. Ain't God good to his prophets, to his seers? All the prophets have a long wait. There's a long wait to receive your prophecy. All right. <laughs> you said Java wrote this crap. <laughs> you and yeah, we are definitely this YouTube stuff and real estate stuff and 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 all this other stuff we're into, Jacqueline. We need to throw it out the window. We are in the wrong business. <laughs> Oh, we calling names, dates, and places tonight. That's what we do it. We calling them out. We calling them out. Here's one. Preachers Bernard Jordan and Manasseh also profit from the prophecy business. This is not me talking. This is this is, you know, this article. This is Manasseh, everybody. He's in deep meditation. I just counted all y'all change the meditation now. So <clears throat> as, as they go on to say, Bernard Jordan Zoe Ministries offers personal 
prophecies for 52 smackers. So for only $52, you can have your own uh, prophecy. Meanwhile, Manasseh Jordan offers access to a live prophetic phone call with the prophet to members of his diamond partner program. You know, they all got levels and programs. You know, so they can meet you, meet you where you at. They can meet your need where you at. If you're a little EBT-ish, we, we got that price for you. You know, if you if you got a little change, you you about a you about a, 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 a five, you about a five uh figure six salary type of deal, we got you there. If you're about a six figure, we 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 move on up the mountain. Okay. Mm-hmm. So for $52, he got that. But Manasa offers these donors give $500 monthly to Manasa Jordan. So if you're with the Diamond Partner Program, your monthly obligation is $500. What a deal. In 2019, Manasa Jordan lost a lawsuit in which he was accused of illegally robocalling people for donations. The Cook County record reported that Manasseh Jordan Ministries placed more than 163 million, let me say it again, 163 million automatic, automatic calls to a database of more than 4 million unique cell phone numbers in just two years. My God. Most of the prophets and prophetesses offering prophecies by phone are relatively unknown religious uh, leaders. As we all know, it is very popular these days for you to click on TikTok and late at night, they are on TikTok and they are uh, uh, giving you prophecies. Come on in the house, y'all. Yes, come on in the house. Yeah, give God praise. Come on in the house. Yeah, there you go. And if you say something wrong, they just block you real good. But they say, go ahead and hit the link and I'm going to call out your name or call out your name. There's the cash app. Go ahead and send your seed in. I'm going to be calling out names and giving out prophecies tonight. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. And they get to talking and doing all this stuff. I tell you the truth. It is unbelievable. And I've seen it. I've seen it every night. Besides leading Christian drama Productions, Prophet Kyle Miller provides 15 minute calls for $42 and 30 minute calls for $80. <sighs> let's check out this. Uh, let's check out this Prophet uh, Kyle, y'all, because he has some interesting lingo in his. Does he look trustworthy to y'all? What y'all think? Is he trustworthy? Mm -hmm. Prophet Kyle. Let's scroll on down. Receive a prophetic phone call today. Now, click here for your prophetic word. 30 minutes for $80. 15 minutes for $42. Let's please note. In the event of cancellation or reschedule, Apostle Kyle must be notified 48 hours in advance. A cancellation made within the 48 hours time frame may receive a 50% refund. Cancellations or no shows after 48 hours are ineligible for refunds. So, if you don't make or you have to cancel, you're shit out of luck. And trust me, they put that may receive a refund. Your ass ain't getting no money back. Give it up. You've given to the ministry. You're not getting any money back. None whatsoever. Okay? So that's Prophet Kyle. <laughs> dumb, da <duh>, dumb, dumb. <laughs> no, this is ultimately insane wild card but guess what it's what's going on it is exactly what's going on let's go back and see what other nuggets we can grab out of this uh article 
It's about that. Naeem Collins promotes himself as a cutting edge prophet called the nations of the world. Collins charges $50 for a prophetic word. There you go. Donate to Collins ministry, 50 smacks. Pro prophetess also offer prophecies for a price. You know, we, we got to have our prophetess in there too. Now, I will say this. I don't, well, I don't, th I don't think Juanita Bynum actually goes the route of calling. It, it's not to my knowledge. Y'all can correct me in the chat if you, if you, uh, if you say something different or if you know something different. Um, but I know she's kind of creative with hers. She'll throw out, give a seed offering. And stuff, but I don't really believe she gives a prophecy about it, though. But she calls herself a prophetess. But I don't think she has the call thing going. It's not to my knowledge that she does. The ladies won't be left out. No, we can't leave our ladies out. <laughs> but I don't, but, you know, not saying that what she over there doing is all, you know, up to par. But I don't think she's over there talking about, you know, call me now type of thing. I I, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Ski we say they said ski we said scam. Is that what the Holy Ghost is telling you? What did you say? Uh, okay, we said, first of all, it's supposed to be a dollar per minute. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. They got Miss Cleo beat. They be on Miss Cleo. But <laughs> it was a dollar a minute. And but see, <clears throat> yeah, but yeah, then they would keep you on the phone for as long as they could because the Lord don't never stop talking. Lord can talk all day long, all night long to you. But see, prophet passion, that $555, see, he, he good because you can have them and you get you talk to them about 15 minutes, you done made $555. It's the best scam I've seen this side of heaven. So, but we can't leave out the prophetess. <clears throat> All right. Prophetess Yasmin Betts website, Prophets Call, Prophets on Call, claims we deliver authentic and accurate insights for every situation from the mind of God directly to your ears. Mm, ain't that good? Prophets on Call charges only $78.50 small little cents for a 15 Minute call. Woo. Prophets on call. <laughs> they never sleep. The lights always on. And the phone's always ringing. And the cash app is always chirping. Speaking of cash apps chirping, since <coughs> I'm your prophet tonight, I'm your seer tonight, and you have to listen to me. God, because listen. I'm here to tell you what thus saith the Lord and also tell you what I, whatever I want to tell you. you know, they ain't going to tell you that. So make sure as we're talking about all these seed offerings and all that. See, I'm not going to charge you $555. No, absolutely not. I'm not going to charge you $50. I am not going to charge you $78.50. Tonight, y'all were so good the other night. <clears throat> 14, oh, actually... It wasn't that, you know, it wasn't that. See, I, I want to do things decently and in order, and I ain't going to scam you. See, I just corrected myself. It wasn't that. It wasn't 1444. It was 1414. All this information tonight is yours for only 14. 14. All right. So make sure that you are... Uh, Donating to this prophet tonight. Listen, I got probably more power in my body and more Holy Ghost than these prophets charging 550. I guarantee you I do. Got they nerve. <clears throat> Prophets on call ministry files a postcard. 990 with the IRS indicating the nonprofit organization takes in less than $50,000 annually. What a freaking lie. The nonprofit ministry is led by Prophetess Best, 
who also runs the similarly named Profits on Call Limited Liability Company, LLC. Imitating psychic readings, the prophetic phone call business mimics the psychic reading business, and that it does. In the early 1990s, Psychic Friends Network, you know, that was our wonderful <clears throat> spokesman, uh, spokesperson, Dion Warwick, generated more revenue than America's most popular televangelist by airing infomercials, advertising psychic readings for $3.99 a minute. See, K. Rich, it was wasn't a dollar a minute. It went up to $3.99 a minute. It's the most successful infomercial of all time, said Jack Timber, publisher of Response TV, a magazine that tracks a direct response television industry in an interview with the New York Times about the Psychic Friends Network. In his autobiography, Psychic Blues, Confessions of Confused Medium, Arthur Mark Edwards, a former Psychic Friend Network's employee, tells the story of receiving a call from a man named Rex seeking information about his relationship. This is what, oh, oh God. Edwards candidly wrote, I opt to disengage and dug into my imagination. Instead of telling Rex what he needed to know, <clears throat> I caved and told him what he wanted to know. Listen, can St. James be real? When you go off for prophecies and when you're calling for prophecies, it's really not anything that you don't already know. And who doesn't want to know or to hear, hear that you're going to be healed? To hear you're going to have buy it, get a new home. To hear you're, you're going to get a promotion at your job. All these things are tangible. Because if you pray, and if you do the work, these things have to be dropped at your doorstep. So as he says, hmm, he, and he called about relationship, spirit, or a spirit probably told him it was over, and he needed to tell the man that it was over, move on. But he probably told the man, you know, don't worry about it. She's coming back to you. Just keep on keeping on. Keep loving her. But he should have told her, move on and kick rocks. But who doesn't want to know something happy, something joyous, something that is going to make you smile? No one wants to hear doom and gloom. And if you really, really think about it, y'all, there was a bomb on somebody put a bomb on another country today. Where was the prophets? Did anybody call that country and say there's a bomb on the way that, to look out? No, because we're busy on the phone telling people that your man is coming this year. Your kids are going to graduate. Um, you know, a, 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 a new house is on the horizon. Have you been having some backaches? I, I see the Lord healing you right now. I see him healing you. Uh, I, I see uh, uh, gangrene, gangrene. I see gangrene. There's somebody right now that is in the hospital with gangrene. The spirit of the Lord has revealed it to me. It's a man about five, seven, and it's his right leg. And he's about to be amputated with gangrene. But God said, fear not. Fear not. He's going to give you a beautiful metal leg. And you're going to use that leg to preach the gospel and walk all over the world and sing the praises of the Lord. 
You mean to tell me anybody sitting right now with gangrene in the hospital? Police. In the same way, the false prophets relay rely on their imagination. That's what it is, y'all. Imagination. Ima now I'm not going to sit here and say all prophets are false. I'm not going to do it. But when we start mixing money in it, I got a problem. Jeremiah 23 and 21 says, I did not send these prophets, yet they have run their message. I did not speak to them, yet they have prophesied. <laughs> hmm. The Bible teaches that prophets are limited in what they can prophesy. The prophet Micah. Micaiah told the prophet Jehoshaphat, as surely as the Lord lives, I can tell him only what the Lord tells me. <laughs> hmm. Scam likely. <laughs> Hmm. And I don't have anything against Prophet Lovi. Um, Elias, uh, Elias. But it's I see a trend now. Also, I see a trend of these prophets and these people wanting to be rock stars in the kingdom. They're all recording music now. They're all have a, a, a guitar. They're living lavish rock star lives. Like that's like the next step in this thing. We build this audience, but they're not satisfied with that because it's only the churchy audience. Now I need to, you know, get the big money. I need to slip into music and be able to be that rock star in music. That's what he was the one over there with, that was over there with um, 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 that, that one rapper, I forget his name, but he was over there. They was in the studio and he was, that guy was producing Lovie's music. And I'm seeing a lot of that. You had, what's the guy from Transformation, Todd, you know, they, they but he's doing like, nah, I guess he's doing like elevation stuff type music, hill songish stuff, but you know, this is the next thing. They want to be celebrities now, you know, and they want to be smooching with the who's who and the what's what's. Here's Prophet Passion with uh, Bishop Jakes and Noel Jones. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. So. <sighs> yes, River, scam likely. Yes. <laughs> uh, Jesse, I'm not going to play with you tonight. Not tonight. But here they are, you know. So, mm. Jackie says, I know God ain't pleased. Jesse has some things to say. And the thing about it, and this kind of came back to light, of course, when we had, you know, Manasseh coming and, and, and bringing things against, against Jake's through Larry. So all of this starts coming back up, you know, and starts bringing a little bit more light. To what's going on. You know, there is all of them in the group have have tears of prophecies that they can offer you from the least to the greatest, from the EBT to the platinum. Whatever it is, they'll meet you where you're at and put you to the next level of giving. So and this is where it all came, you know, through, you know, came to light again. But these folks, like I said, I'm not saying anyone is false, but I have to question when there is the money aspect put on it. 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 555 
dollars. You know, this the, yeah, the prophet couldn't tell Jakes that Puffy was in trouble before the folks went to his house. Come on now. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that these prophets should have been telling. You thought it was Waka Flocka? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things to these prophets. Instead of saying that what you're going to get, you know, your health is going to get better, which if you just eat right. And, and, and listen, I'm not going to sit here and say that we don't get great things from prophets. I think prophets have great things to say. It's just as I listened to something that Prophet Lovey said, I'm going to share it with you. Stop being judgmental. Everybody has a weakness. And by the grace of God, God is helping us all, especially if we yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I see people talking down people who are struggling with alcohol, but yet themselves they are gluttonous. And it's the same sin. Gluttony is just as bad as alcoholism in the sight of God. Now, the repercussions may be different physically, but spiritually, it's the same thing to God. Stop judging people. Start praying for people. And by doing so, God will help you in your own weaknesses. God bless you. Listen, I, I can take the heat to that. You know, the gluttonous spirit is running rapid. Gluttony. Gluttony. Just big and gluttonous. Gluttonous. But, you know, we're... Talking about other people's little, you know, issues. So there's always good nuggets we can get from prophets. I have to, where does she put that at? <laughs> Mental Vibe says, the Lord told them, someone in this chat has diabetes. And for only a seed of 555, she, they have the cure. But the cure will only be available today. So send your seed right away. Ain't it funny how they do put caveats on these seeds and they do put, you know, you got to do this or it won't happen or. <sighs> no, Shelby, that wonderful, you know, life and formation will not make him a rock star. So those are, they come very far and in between. Not too often. Yeah, so. <laughs> On a sliding skill, yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I was in some chats and some people stuff and all these seed offerings in different levels. And I'm like, wow, this is wild. I, it's just unbelievable to me. And when I was on Passion Love Lovey's, um, Passion Lovey's site, you know, I mean, they have schools, mentorships. You can pay Passion Java. $111 a month to be mentored by him. Now, I don't know when he's going to be able to talk to you. I don't know. But let's see about the mentorship. It's only $111 a month. You get access to weekly private prophetic lessons, deep exclusive revelations without limitation, impartations, and prophetic prayers, private group Zoom calls and Q&A and more. So for only a small fee of $111 a month or $1,111. A year. Now, <clears throat> is it me or is this double digit stuff the way to go? You see, we have 888s, 555s, 14, 14, you know, we have all, and then 111, 111. So is it not really legitimate unless it's kind of in that vein? Because I don't think there's anything. 
I don't think there's anything spiritual about the numbers at all. I just don't think there's anything spiritual about the numbers. We can put any kind of spin we want to tonight. Listen, 1414, that's a, that, that's a, uh, 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 you know, it's a, it's a, uh, Gugugala uh, uh, seed. Uh, do the Gugugala seed tonight. The 1414 Gugugala seed. And it's going to change your Gugugala. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just don't think there's much with numbers. Can we go into astrology? Can we go and, 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 and the number seven, you know, completion and all that? Okay. Whatever. I don't know. Shelby says, the stranger the number, the deeper the prophecy. Yeah. Yeah. Three, three, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds prophetic. Yeah. <clears throat> I would say, I think I saw that one. Let me put that up. <clears throat> Madam Scorpio says, do you see the ladies prophesying Jamal? He was like, yeah, I saw that. I saw it. Jamal, Jam <clears throat> let me tell you what Jamal did. Jamal knew he had to react. Jamal did exactly what he needed to do. He laid out on that flow. He couldn't just sit there because he couldn't, he couldn't do what Eddie Long did. You know, Eddie Long was prophesied to as well. And we know Eddie didn't take heed to that, and Eddie's no longer with us. So you can have those who say he didn't he didn't heed to the prophecy, and that's why he's gone. So just in case that happened, Jamal had to lay out on that floor if he believed the prophecy or not. He probably was on that floor talking about, Lord, just get me up out of here. Just get me up, Lord. I'm, I'm sorry, Lord, but you know I had to just fall out for the people's sake. Jamal does a lot of things for shock value. He does a lot of these a people pleaser. So him falling out was just him falling out. <laughs> right. Did, 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 did. Who prophesied that the marijuana wasn't going to work? You know that wasn't going to get off the ground. Him wanting to plant marijuana at the church. <laughs> Nola girl says, Using those numbers patterns into witchcraft, it tickles the ears and makes people think it's not a lot of money. That's right. You're so right. You are so right. And they they've they are experts or they gain expertise in getting the money out of the pockets. And I'm sorry, Bishop Bernard Jordan is an expert with that. He learned it from the best. You see the man to the to the right. To the left, down there with the microphone, that's Reverend Ike. That's who Bishop Bernard Jordan learned everything he knows. Bishop Bernard Jordan lives in Bishop Ike, Ike's home. <clears throat> Thank you so much uh, for becoming a member, Madam Scorpio. Thank you so much. Yeah, but so you have to remember, you know, they have been to the school of the prophets, as I can say. And this is what they, a lot of what they teach in the school of the prophets. When they go to these, these workshops and they pay this money to be included in the school, they're not, <clears throat> they're not just teaching people how to prophesy. They're people teaching you how to prophesy successfully to get this cash and how to ask for that money in the right way. That's all within that. Said Jamal is a drama. He is, and he loves it. They got the perfect one for new birth. Trust me. Numerology. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Favorite color was green. Yes, it was. And it wasn't, it, it wasn't just because uh, <laughs> he liked the colors for that money, baby. Give me the money. Give me the money. So, like I said, this is my thoughts, my opinions, and are the more probably very unpopular. But I'm just saying, do what you want to do with your money. Listen to whoever prophet you want to listen to. 
And a lot of them, you got to be careful too, because a lot of them say, you know, it's the spirit as to what you give or how you give. So don't worry about where, where the money is going. They even say that in churches, don't they? You're not supposed to worry about where the money is going. You just give it in the right spirit and God will bless you now. I believe it. <clears throat> I believe that. I do believe it. If you give in the right spirit, God will bless you. Because the, the theory of, of sowing and reaping is, is true, whether you, whether you want to believe it biblically or whether you want to just believe it as an uh, ethical or the right thing to do or the right way to live. What you sow is what you're going to reap. Now, if you want to sow into ministries that have a specific dollar amount that they want you to give in order for you to be blessed, more power to you. But what I'm here to tell you as is that's not a necessity to be blessed. <clears throat> Giving does bless you. It does bless you. But give with a cheerful heart and give according to your ability. Now, sometimes it does take a sacrificial type of gift when you're in a sacrificial type of space in your life. If you are, because nothing comes, you know, what they say, you know, pray continuously. And sometimes, you know, I think you tell us sometimes you got to push the plate back. Sometimes you got to fast for certain things. Sometimes you must pray and pray consistently. You know, so certain things shouldn't come as easy because if they come too easy, you won't appreciate them when you get them. So sometimes it does take a very good sacrifice for you to appreciate the blessings that God is going to give you. Now, when you think of it in that aspect, give. But when the churches, Jacqueline, become too expensive to attend, we have a problem. You know, you can't be a leader unless you're 100% tithe payer. You know, you, you pay your 10% all the time. You can't do this. You know, they don't care about time, tithing time anymore. They don't care nothing about tithing your time. They want your cash, your cold, hard cash. OK. Mm -hmm. Lady D was I would like to know where Jordan sends his money. I don't know. Reverend Ike gone. Because isn't it a tear, Lady Wisdom? Just like, you know, you're supposed to have a prophet and you're supposed to give your taruma or your gift to the, your prophet. And the prophet's supposed to have a prophet. The prophet's supposed to have uh, a mentor or a daddy or a granddaddy, as they was calling prophet passion, grandpapa. You know, so I don't know. Isn't it supposed to be a tear? I don't know where he's giving his money. I don't know. Mm-hmm. She said she called Zoe Ministries hotline to get a, uh, uh, I gave $112. My prophecy was general. You see, you should have just, just called me, Lady Wisdom. I would have cut that in half for you. They wanted me to, they wanted me to send $3,500. I said, hell no. Well, listen, they got you $112. Go ahead and send them another $3,500. You don't want to be blessed. Girl, you you done, you done cursed yourself, lady. With you didn't send thirty five hundred dollars. <laughs> tithe, time, tithe, and that's right. And talents is mono existence. Yeah, everything has a cost. They don't want your time or your talent. Yeah, they want your talent. They want to prostitute your talent out in churches. They definitely want to prostitute you out. I've been a slut for churches. I've been a hoe. I've been a tramp for churches. Slutted me out something good. Mm, mm, mm. My soul looks back in wonder. How I can hold up. Hey. Hmm, until I met some Baptist people who paid me my worth. And it's been high, it's been easy sailing every. <laughs> 
<clears throat> but that Pentecostal church slutted me out apostolic for years. They used my gift and told me it was my reasonable service. That's what they told me, y'all. Give you a dime, but I want you and you want to direct this choir. You want to teach my teach the music and worship teams and tell the musicians what to do. Then you better make sure that your tithe is up to par. Not only <coughs> did they not pay me a dime, but they made me give them 10% plus for years. Until God said, all right, sir, are you done? Are you ready to listen to me? And God would allow something to happen where you got an exit stage left. And when I went over there with them Baptist folk, they paid me my worth plus some. I used to go to the business meeting just to see if I had any you know, deacons or somebody get up and complain about my salary because, you know, I would have looked them right in their face and say, well, hell, you do it. But, oh, no. The Baptists love those St. James. My direct deposits every two weeks. And we church that Baptist church until times got better. Ha! My God. Then I went on to the non-denominational non church, and that money was endless. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I said, Lord, well, <clears throat> I won't complain about my slut out days and my tramp days and my days while I just stay. I was prostituted out, Lord. I'm not going to complain because you paid me triple, quadruple, fold, double, triple for my trouble. So I couldn't complain. <laughs> Listen here. The way these churches are going now, I wouldn't be closed off to IRS talking about. Tell me, let me talk to you for a minute. Because that woman with the prophecies who was uh, taking in seventy three fifty per prophecy and then on our tax return, her 990 said she only made $50,000 annually. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. Remember, if you are a member of the St. James Show, you can click, click the link on the community board. And you can join me up here if you have anything that you want to add to this conversation. You got to know your worth, Shelby. And for years, you know, I knew my worth, but the church will get you to a place where you need to be so happy that we're allowing you to come and to work in the church and to be amongst us. And, you know, they'll have you in a place where you just don't know your worth and not saying that I, I, I did it for years without pay. So pay was never an issue with me. I always, God gave me a gift. I've directed choir since I was 12 years old. 12. Getting up teaching, I remember I taught like a James Cleveland song or something. It was like a, what was that See, uh, album? I forget what it was. But 12 years old. And it just, and I just, you know, blossomed and groomed all from there. So I'm not complaining about what I've done, but there comes a certain point in your life where you're saying, okay, I've given my reasonable service here. I believe now it's time for you to acknowledge the gifts and talents and the time that I put, you know, give to the ministry. Because I believe everybody is worth their hire. <laughs> Queen Mom, that really the religious folks will use you until they use you all the way up. They will screw you with no lube and the lights off. Mm. And dare you to complain. And then turn around, pass you to turn around and say, you know, disobedience is as a witchcraft. So you can't buck up against them because you're a warlock. 
Don't be disobedient. Just come and do what I say. You know, don't do as I do. Do what I say. Mm-hmm. Listen, they got the they got the cash over there. All I gotta do is oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the ninety-nine. I don't deserve it. <laughs> That's all I gotta go and do. <laughs> oh. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of the sin? Jesus is calling. Come to the altar. Listen, do some elevation. Do some hill song. Do some planet shakers. <laughs> and go to Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Patch, uh, Prophet Passion uh, Java. Let's go to Gucci. Non denomination and gave me my chair. <laughs> Throw some shade. Throw it out there, lady. Throw that shade. Throw that shade in a circle. Throw that shade in a circle. <laughs> mm. Uh oh. Hold, hold on. <clears throat> hold on, please. Let me see what's going on. Oh, no, Lady Wisdom. <clears throat> Lady Wisdom. Lady Wisdom. You done stumbled on something here, honey. You done, st Ooh, you done stumbled on something here. Here, yeah. oh please. <clears throat> Y'all liking this uh, uh video? Oh, the shade is coming tonight. Lady wisdom. <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's a Kiara shared. It don't even say Kiara shared under the under there, there is no Kelly. Huh. Huh. Let's see here. Mm. What happened? Oh, Lady Wisdom. Where the picture's at? Where Brother Kelly at? Okay, well, here's a, here's one. Okay, Jordan Kelly, let's go to his. Let's see, got his baby, okay. Well, that's, that. when was his last picture with her? Because that's old, that's pinned. Okay, that's him with the baby. Okay, he's still in, okay, well, okay. But Lady Wisdom, he had Kelly. <clears throat> Hmm. 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 Who is that sitting in the middle of the pick like <laughs> what picture? Ooh. Mm. You can be there and not be there. Yeah. I think there's trouble in the camp. Yeah, I think they're troubling the cap because she had Kiara Sheard Kelly <clears throat> on here. And I still say there's some smoke over there with them Hattons. I still say there's some smoke with them Dietrich and, and Dom Dominique Hatton. Y'all mark my words. St. James said it. Lady Wisdom, I think we got a problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They can't say nothing yet. The elections. They can't say nothing. They, 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 they may cost their daddy this election. She can't say she not with her husband right now. Not right now, Kiara. Save it to after November. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, I think we got a little something, unfortunately. 
Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Who, who was that sitting in the middle pit? Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> That is none other than Manasseh Jordan. That is Manasseh. He's sitting in his uh, his stance of meditation. Listen, he better pray to God that these so-called uh, lawsuits never surface because Bishop Jake's team going to pull every sissy, every pump. That they can pick that say, I've been with them. I've been to the mountaintop. I'd say everybody needs to go to their corners and be quiet. That's what my advice is. Go to your corners. Continue to do your prophecies. for $52 a call. Leave Jake's alone. I don't know. One thing that I haven't seen lately is any pictures or collaborations with him and his pappy, Bernard. I ain't seen them together now. A birdie told me there was a little, still a little tension in the air. But, you know, it hasn't been confirmed. Hmm. <laughs> Close encounters of the third kind. Uh, I don't believe that either. Um, I don't believe Manasseh wanted to sue Jake. Yeah, I, 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 I think there was still some, re, re, some Carlton Pearson residue, some get back residue. No oh, steroids. Yeah. He finally off this steroids. They say, yeah, they say he was on them tough. Because that wasn't that one of the lawsuits? Somebody was suing him about some use of steroids and some blah, 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 blah. There was a lawsuit about that, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess steroids aren't illegal unless you're in some kind of, uh, you know, professional sports. Anybody can pump up the volume. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the moral of the story is, y'all, tonight is just need to be aware. If you want to give your money for $52 a call for a prophecy, $78.50 a call, and the great, great price of $555, but Thing Lady Wisdom says there was a $3,500 asking uh, price. Um, knock yourselves out. Be a blessing to their ministry because you're definitely being a blessing to their ministry. Now your home may suffer. But <laughs> that picture disturbs me. I don't think he didn't want that smoke, baby. He didn't want that smoke. Jake's was co is coming with that smoke. Jake's going to sit in his mansion and let the attorney smoke him out. Oh, it's going to be a shit show. And I might be right here looking at every bit of it. But unfortunately, I don't think it's coming. That was way back in November, December. Well, I don't know when he started talking about putting Jake's in there. Maybe it was a little bit later, but it's definitely been about four, five, three, four, five months. At least, what are we in? April? Well, at least four months, huh? Seven days. It's up. Mm -mm. I don't want that smoke. Mm -mm. I don't think you want it. You don't want it, NASA. You don't want it, NASA. Go on somewhere, cross your legs, give your prophecies. Talk about the kingdom of, you got to talk about some weird shit, y'all. Maybe over there tripping. I mean, like, I'll be trying to get with him, and then he just go all the way left. He'd be like, about some weird off the wall stuff. I'll be like, what are you talking about the the Treyun dynasty and the? It'd be so weird. I'd be like, shit. I mean, but you know what? People love that kind of weird stuff. 
it just makes people seem more intelligent. And oh my God, he's he's breaking down stuff that I've never heard before. The try ye, the try on in corobosito, and and yes, and and then the manifestation of the Zion, uh, 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 the Zion ages, and they're interacting with the Caprice ages, and all that weird stuff. People really think you're really deep. And that's why they get all this money. I guess I need to get a little bit more weird. I guess y'all ain't giving me shit. <laughs> Take that back. Y'all do support. I appreciate you. But it's like, y'all ain't giving me no $555. Now, I do get some wonderful $100 cash apps and $200 and $75. <clears throat> y'all do bless me, the platform with that. And all that money goes right back into this. It goes back into everything that I do for here. Y'all know I like to travel and be on. Uh, I like to slip into places and give y'all some stories. I got, I'm going somewhere this coming week, y'all. I'm going and I'll have a wonderful, <coughs> have some wonderful things to report to you. So make sure that you don't stop donating to the St. James show, okay? Because your donations, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing with them. I can't tell, well, we see what they doing with them too. They they live in like rock stars, which listen, everybody wants to do it. And if y'all gonna allow them to do it, I say they do it to the best of their abilities. If they, gonna, if they can get it, if you can get it, okay? Hmm. Can't get my money though. Sorry. Child, please stop. You hear? That's good. You hear. I think Inspire left us, y'all. She was she was shipping on that cognac tonight. And I think it got the best of her. That New York cognac. Listen here. You need to go see me son of that. <laughs> yeah, because Jones. But but you know what? What <clears throat> I would have thought though. What isn't going to a seven day Adventist church like ideal for us since seven day Adventists have churches on Saturdays, their churches on Sundays are empty. So why not rent a seven day Adventist church? But I guess somebody said in the chat, in the comments that, well, they even said they needed more room, but I think they were having problems with parking because they were having to shuttle people from a parking lot to greater Emmanuel. So I, I think it, it, it probably was. And from what I can see online, it looks like people were showing up and going. So but I do need to I meant to call Nissan this week and ask him what's what's going on with that. But, you know, my friends be like <laughs> they still my friends be, be like, I can tell you this. But when they tell me something is off the record, I don't talk about it. When they say it's off the record, I don't talk about it. I know a lot of things. I just can't talk about a lot of things. Um, and I do respect my friends like that. I mean, gospel music friends and, and, and regular, you know, basically like when I walk into churches now, people be like, oh shit. <laughs> it's <on> this bitch. <laughs> but I'd be like, I'm, I'm here on unofficial business. Uh, you know, I, I, we cool, we cool. But now if I walk up, well, usually I'm walking into a place where I ain't did the story yet. I usually go to spots and, you know, I don't, you know, that I ain't did because I got a spot that I'll be going to this coming weekend and I'll be bringing that so because they over there cutting up and I'm fitting to blow the spot up. You thought Peace Apostolic was going to get blown up. Oh, no, this one is about to get blown up because I ain't playing with them folk because they over there cutting, cutting up, up. OK, and we going we going to do this. We going to do it right. Because at the end of the day, when you start doing God's people a certain way, then that means I got the power and the authority to do you how I want to do you. <laughs> you screw the saints. St. James screws you. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> well, so, yes. So all your donations, that's where they go. And I did wake up with some 1414. So thank you so much for people who watched the show the other day. 
Mm, Kiara, I don't think was with her husband, y'all. Prove me wrong, Kiki. Prove me wrong because we're saying that you're not, you and Mr. Kelly are not together because you took the name off of your Instagram. Hmm, that's still in my spirit. But you can't say nothing because election time is here. Hmm, I wonder what happened. Did he cheat? No, I ain't going to say that. <laughs> Let me not be too shady tonight. I know it's shady meditations tonight, but <laughs> let's not meditate on that. But there's something going on. Thank you uh, uh, for bringing that to my attention. Um, evangelist wisdom, seer wisdom, overseer, prophetess wisdom. All right, y'all. I think we good. Y'all got your clothes laid out for tomorrow? Who got their clothes laid out? You going to church? Get y'all happy behinds up and go to church? It seems like Keith Omer is just running around preaching at everybody's church. <clears throat> we'll be over there at his church on this week. Tuesday for Sandra Crouch's musical is Tuesday, and then the funeral is on Wednesday. So um, I'm really wondering what they're going to do with this, this uh, musical. Like who's gonna come? Or what artists are actually gonna show up? You, you know, people are shady as, as as hell these days. People don't want to come for free. They don't want to spend their own dimes. And I, you know, with this, you know, Sandra and them, they had a small church. They didn't have no big church. Now she was raking in all of uh, Andre's uh, residual checks and 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 uh, you know royalties and stuff. But you know that was Sandra's money. <laughs> That was her and her girlfriend. I mean, that was Sandra's money. That was that wasn't the church's money, you know. So I don't know. I don't think they're gonna be paying for these people to come. It's just whoever's gonna come is gonna come. But sometimes these artists, you know how they did with Deshaun Pace. You know, someone was on the plane, some of them couldn't make it, some of them was this, some of them was that. So I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Omar retired. He retired for where? You don't think that was equally yoked? I think she was just burning. Did she have a burning and a yearning, uh, Lady Wisdom? I think Kiki just wanted to be married. You know, that Welton, he I think he cheated on her. And he went and had a baby on her that passed a Welton out of Detroit she was with. He had a baby. They was uh, they was going. They said they said Kiki it, it went crazy. Y'all thought Tina Campbell uh, 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 messed up Teddy's car. They said Kiki cut up over there on Welton. Welton still ain't married though. Maybe if they get to maybe Welton will go back to it. Maybe they get together. Welton got a baby. She got a baby. They just have a nice blended family now. I don't know. <laughs> oh, what you talk about, Queen Mom? I didn't say nothing. What you talk about? Be quiet. I didn't say that. <laughs> she wanted a husband and a baby. No, I think that you know that's what happens. I mean, it's not. <clears throat> she's human. That's what a lot of ladies want. That. You know, and when you talk about, you know, what she's in her 30s, she didn't want to be 40, 50 years old trying to get a, a piece of a man to have a baby and all that. So I can see it happening. You know, people get married to, 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 for certain reasons. They don't get married for love no more. Love is like a back burner. <clears throat> yeah. So, you know, you, you just got to consider. So, yeah, I don't think they were equally yoked. I think they tried to make him be, make him be a preacher, make him be, because he was, he gave me hood. He just gave me like, listen, didn't he have like a lawn care business when they met or he was doing lawns or something. And then all of a sudden they said he was a teacher, but I don't think that he really was a teacher, y'all. I think he was like a, a teacher's aide, you know, maybe on, on, he, you know, keep the peace or something at, at the school, one of them security people. I don't think he was actually a teacher because I ain't he ain't took no seat best or no nothing like that. I don't think I ain't heard of that. I don't know how you go from a lawn one year and yet the, the next year you a teacher. So I got you know, there's a few questions we need to answer. Have answered. Mm -hmm. She could have just done like J. Drew. Right. J. Drew, Drew won't stop having kids. <laughs> now, I swear to you that J. Drew, he got two already and had one wife yet. J. Drew, listen, his peen is community peen, okay? He got the community dick, community dick. Community. And he just had, and that, you know, they, they probably signed up Jacob like he is the best thing next to sliced bread. So 
you know, they got Jacob singing and preaching and the, 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 the daughter be singing and with uh, her grandma Karen and uh, uh, J.J. Jr. just keeps having kids. So Kiara should have just slipped away. Well, they said, well, I ain't going to say what I did. But we going <laughs> to well, you know, she had this one and um, with this guy and, and, and she should have just, you know, she didn't need to get married. If she didn't want to get married, but, you know, election time. And it wasn't that during pandemic or something like that, because I remember the grandpa and stuff, they had to go outside. They couldn't go in the house because they had COVID, the grandma and grandpa. So I think that was during COVID they got married. See, everybody at COVID, well, you was either going to get married or you was going to get divorced because you got sick of seeing your, your spouse. You know, you go to work every day, but when you didn't have to go to work and get a breather, you had to come home and look at them in their face every day. All day long, 24 hours. You know, people was getting divorced like hotcakes around the, the uh, pandemic. Oh, absolutely. And I'm tired of you. I, I, I need to go to work and see my, my, my work uh, wife or my work husband. This regular one is working my nerve. Mental vibes say when I watch Kier and, and him cook together on a YouTube show, she, she seems annoyed with him. However, I don't see her divorcing him. Well, she took that name off of Instagram. That's interesting. They don't want to, they wouldn't change YouTube though. They making some good money on YouTube. So whatever's on YouTube and however it looks, they're going to keep that on there because in views and clicks going to get them some cash. You know, these uh, gigs ain't as, ain't as much as they, they're not coming around as much as they were coming around these days. These gigs, these singing gigs. So these YouTubes are doing, doing them good. You see Dorinda, she over there got her makeup line. She ain't playing with y'all. She trying to get that money. Them lawns look the mess. Yeah, so stupid. Let the man. <laughs> Y'all talk about the poem, but boys, lawn work inspires back. Oh, she didn't. She nodded off for a minute. Y'all, they yak got a nod. No, she backed down though. Praise the Lord, sister, sister, inspire more grace. Y'all, more grace. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so. Oh, they say, well, listen, you know, Queen Mum know everything. Let's see what she know today. Uh, Jordan has a college degree, and he is an Omega and one of those frat men. Oh, God. <clears throat> All right. You can have a college degree, but do he have a teaching credential? All right. Okay. All right. God bless him. Maybe they still married, but she took that Kelly off that Instagram. I, I know that. Because I know I saw that Kelly on that Instagram. You ain't going to tell me. I saw it. And it ain't on there now. Oh, he got some. Yeah, he a thug. He he street. He probably, ooh, you know what he did to her. He turned her completely out. Ooh. <laughs> <coughs> completely out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What's up, Shardy? More grace. More grace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pam, what you doing up? I don't know. No, Pam ain't up past uh, uh, 3 a.m. Y'all get out of Detroit now. We don't listen. All we just had a question, Pam. Where is Kelly on her name? It has vanished. That's all the that's we that's you know, y'all people. I, I can't wait to get to Detroit in June. I'm still gonna take you and De Dev out, uh, Pam. <clears throat> we going to we gonna eat good somewhere. We're going to eat on the Saints. The Saints going to take us out over here on the St. James Show. <laughs> but, um, you know, Detroit, if y'all ain't got Bishop Alex for 20 years, buildings not being built for 20 years, y'all, you know, y'all over there taking your names off of your social medias because <clears throat> there's probably some, some problems. I'll tell you, Detroit, Detroit. Y'all, we just going to do my Hawkins good when we get there. Well, that's what I was saying. She did get rid of old Welton. Welton had community peen, too. Welton, old Pastor Welton. And then he fooled around and lost a few pounds. And then he was really, they say he was really in Detroit cutting up after he lost a few pounds. He was swinging it around like nobody's business. But hey, maybe they'll get back together, Pam, if they not if he she not with Kelly no more. Now she gotta be with Kelly till about December. They may be together till about after Christmas, because they can't do nothing before November. That's election. 
J. Drew Jr., Bishop Sheard told her, listen here, y'all better go in separate rooms. Ain't nobody getting a divorce up in here no, no time soon. And my thing is, I don't know why they would make us stay married if she didn't want to. Maybe he don't want to. I don't know. But if J. Drew Sheard Jr. is running around, he didn't had a whole bunch of uh, a, a couple kids out of wedlock. So don't don't make her suffer and stay married. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. Going to the national gospel the for the uh, what is it the national gospel choirs and chorals uh bishop uh not bishop uh dorsey the dorsey convention i am thinking about it because i have some friends who are asking me to show up and i do want to go to philly so i may be in philly i, I would i definitely want to be there because i want to go to the place and do some interviews and things with some artists and and all that so i am really thinking about going to philly yes queen mom i am going to the gmwa I am going to the Kojic Convention. Um, I don't think I'm going to aim, but I am going to go to, I don't know. I'm going to aim. I don't know. It's just depend, but June is my birthday month, and I have trips. We are going to Dominican Republic, me and some friends, for my birthday this year. So June is kind of busy. Then that same week, I'm flying to Detroit for the Hawkins uh, tribute. So. I'm going to go to Detroit for that. So, But I might have to show up. Yes, we can definitely meet in Philly. I want to meet everybody. The long as you ain't crazy. Don't come up to me if you're crazy. I've been kind of lucky. I ain't you know, met no crazy folk, you know. Even uh, this past, when I was in Los Angeles, I let, met so many people who are saints of the St. James show. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I, like I said, I just don't want y'all to just look at me on, on the internet. I want you to, I want to actually go and meet you. All right. I want to have a meet and greet this year. I don't know when or where, but it'll be at a, at a cool spot. Uh, Mental Vibes said, uh, said Jay, you can vote in elections for Cody. I can. Mm hmm. Uh, any confirmed members of the church or just people with a certain credentials? No, you have to be, you have to be a member. I'm not going to tell all my business, but, um, I'm a member when I need to be a member, okay? For what I need to be a member for. <laughs> I'm a member to what I need to be a member to. And, you know, authentically, legally, okay? Whether that be, you know, GMWA, the Kojics, run over here to the Pilgrim Assembly. Listen, wherever. I need to be a member. I got some credentials. <laughs> God don't play about St. James. God don't play about me. Obviously, y'all don't either. Since y'all got me at 14,000, over 14,000. I got like 100 members in a day or something. I subscribe to you guys. You know, I went over to Hop Hop. Now, now I, I don't think, I think you Hop will, I said I Hop. I think you hop will be revoking any membership privileges. <laughs> I'm not seeking any membership over there because I know it will be revoked because I believe they're on high alert now. When they see my yellow ass walking up over there, they're going to say, excuse me, sir, you're not welcome. So I doubt <laughs> I will be going to you hop. Mm-hmm. It's for credential. Uh-huh. <coughs> I know. Uh-huh. I know. I know. Uh-huh. My bishop is Bishop Macklin. What? You, what? What's the problem? My bishop is Bishop Macklin. We got any questions y'all need to ask? Y'all want to look me up in the Lamb's Book of Kojic Life? <laughs> oh, I know we need credentials, Queen Mom. Don't question my credentials. You got credentials, Queen Mom? Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> they, I'm with the sweet daddies, but they said, listen here, you sweet daddy, you got to get out of here. You you infiltrating us. I'm over here trying to worship with y'all, trying to tell people to go over there because I felt the spirit. You don't want me to record? How dare you? 
dare you? Have you guys hit like? Or y'all just over here laying in the bed, touching on yourself and listening? I'm just playing. <laughs> Move your head. Get into the spirit. Mm -hmm. We're not carnal right now. We're spiritual. Ooh. So y'all want to give y'all what y'all want to wake up and give y'all seed off into these prophets. Go ahead, y'all. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay. Questioning my credentials. If I tell you a duck is a truck, all you need to say, where do I hook it up? That's all you need to ask me, Queen Mom. Questioning my credentials. Do you got credentials? I got dentals all around. Dentals everywhere. <clears throat> get on the get on the red carpet and do interviews at the Stella Awards if I want to. I got dentals everywhere. Questioning me. What you do, Queen Mom? I want to check the books on you. I'm checking the books. <laughs> I ain't got no red cup tonight. It's a glass. I got class. What are you talking about? I'm classy. The red cups are for suckers. <laughs> you finna join coach? Join coach. We all gonna vote. What's up with Brian Mose? I don't know. You know, he goes somewhere fitting his wig for the morning where he preaching tomorrow. <clears throat> he about to cut his wig and glue it on. I don't know. You know, Brian Mosley. He about to church somebody tomorrow. Somebody's church. I don't know where he at. I don't have no idea. You know, Brian. What you talking about, River? Think I don't think they're following each other on Instagram. Is that no? They're not following each other. Let me investigate that too. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my Savior. More than life. Mm. You're the air I breathe. Let me, let me say, Kelly. Oh, Jesus. She not found her husband, y'all. Oh, River. You right. Oh, there's trouble in the camp, y'all. Y'all pray for the Kellys. Y'all pray for the Kelly slash Sheard, y'all. Oh, Kiara and her husband. They not following each other. She took her Kelly name off of social media oh Lord oh this has been a shady shady minute meditation tonight but wisdom you told me first <clears throat> i didn't know about the follow follow but i knew about the name ain't there but now river put that other part in it they're not even following each other lady wisdom oh He was a hired. Well, say it with your chest, Jacqueline. He was a hired help. Say it with your chest. What would you say? My best friend just moved to Dominican Republic and wants me to come there for my birthday. And really? Her birth, uh, I know her birthday is, is a two weeks apart. Mm -hmm. We have to talk. We can talk, sir. <clears throat> we can talk. See what all inclusive. Uh, <clears throat> Resort, they'll be staying out, you know. Listen here, she the goat, y'all. Tell your neighbor, say Lady Wisdom is the goat. See, you know, I wasn't even paying attention. Caught me slipping, Lady Wisdom. Oh, but I have some wonderful saints who just come over here and where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Ooh. Oh, man. Now I don't relish in nobody's relationship demise. I don't do that, y'all. Don't do that. I think everybody should be in a nice, healthy, loving relationship if you can stand somebody. But, you know, we'll never hear of them splitting up until it just fades away with the wind. Because I'm sure Bishop Sheard, now they probably going to listen to this broadcast, this the Saturday night broadcast, and they are going to say, shit, the 
gig is up. <laughs> We've been found out. Like on Scooby Doo. Oh, yeah. They not together. I think we got it on good authority. Gives that a wig. What you talking about, Brian Mosley? Please. He I got more wigs than Dorinda. Please. Y'all want to? Yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all. Okay, let's see it. Let's check out some of the wigs. Okay, all right. Y'all don't want to believe me? I got time tonight. Church don't start till later. Mm hmm. I got time tonight. Mm, let's explore. Let me hit share my screen. Send y'all up. Y'all ain't got nothing else to do. <clears throat> now. Okay. Come on. You're not going to click? Okay. Now, this is a beautiful one. This is nice and sculpted. He, he, he trimmed around. Let me myself at the bottom he trimmed around bring this up a little bit he trimmed around the edges that's a nice cute one see what else what, what other one we have this is a seeing him in the middle he has the nice overlay of it it's a nice uh he got his uh he straightened it out a little bit now i don't know how you can be 85 years old with straight black hair oh uh, lord give it to me jesus okay when i turn that age okay give it to me savior now in this one here he got let's see uh, he got a little, he just kind of shook one off of the d dummy mannequin and just kind of threw it on his head this time. He wasn't, he didn't do too much with this one. He didn't do too much with it. See, that's, that's a full wig. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a full one right there. And here's one. It's a blonde. This one is blonde. This one is blonde. <laughs> <laughs> This is when he went, you know, Valley Boy here. He 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 wanted to go Valley Valley Boy. So he he he, he ooh, Brian. Ooh, ooh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh my Jesus. <clears throat> Which one he got here? This is a black one. He painted this one on. This is a paint on. Yeah, you see, he chiseled the sides, he clipped the sides. Come on, do it up close, up close. I, I like this one. It's a pretty good one. I like this weed. Nice and full. <laughs> Ooh, look at that one. Ooh, let's see what else he got. Okay. They over there fake shouting. All right. But move, move, move that. Move, 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 move. Y'all move. Show the prophet's hair. Where's the prophet's hair? We need the prophet's hair. Y'all not going to show us? Okay, we got to move on. What do you have on this night? Oh, that's the same little updo. Okay, all right. And I think here he brought back, looks like the golden one was brought back. All right. <coughs> mm -hmm. All right. All right. I think he was over there with uh, Brian Karn somewhere, uh, one of them. I remember that night. And he had, oh, he had the good wig on that one. Look at that. Ooh, ooh ain't that nice, y'all? Ooh. Well, he bumped the ends. He bumped the ends. Oh, let me stop it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, cameraman. God bless you and your ministry. I love this cameraman. Get get it close up. Yeah. Yeah. Look like it's two tone. Look like it's kind of blondish on the top. Dance for that wig, girl. Dance for that wig. It's kind of like. On the top is kind of blondish. Oh, you better dance more. now. Don't don't you cut up too much. That thing'll shake off there. Yeah, don't do too much. Uh, <laughs> that thing'll shake loose and fall on the floor. Ask Kiara. But I guarantee he got that super gorilla glue on that bad boy. Oh no, that thing ain't moving. Mm -hmm, that camera ain't that cameraman shady. <laughs> That's old, some old punk. <laughs> Some old church punk over there. I'm going to get this little old sissy. Uh. <laughs> oh, you know that. You know they be doing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brian. Mm. Oh, this is his. Oh, Brian. 
Oh, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh. Where's the pictures at? Let me see. Let me see some pictures. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, they all, I thought they was all, am I the picture one on the, I'm on the post. <clears throat> I'm trying to find some pictures. Yeah, like this one. Oh, that's another video. But y'all get the gist of it, you know. Oh, oh this is a good one. Him and Jacobs. Brandon J. Oh, he got that blonde shit on it. Ooh, you can't tell that both of them or nothing. <laughs> you can't tell him that he ain't the shiznit. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's that wet and wild, baby. Wigs by truck. <laughs> That's that blonde. That dirty blonde. What did Lexi say? Prime Mosley went back in time with those glasses. They are fire. You look like the fifth Beatle, fresh off the world. Oh, Lexi, you know you want to talk about that wig, Lexi. Don't start. You know you want to talk about that wig. You don't care nothing about them glasses. About none of them glasses. <clears throat> nothing at all about them glasses. Ooh, Brian. Mm. God couldn't prophesy no hair. That wasn't going to happen. All right. You better cross them sticks and throw that hand across them to your lap. Mm, look at the hair. Little, he thinned out this wig a little bit. He thinned it out a little bit. It ain't as full. Not as full as it could be. Oh, yeah. Wet and wild. Okay. All right. This was his birthday. Listen here. He straightened that bad boy. Put some color on it. Put them black. He put a little uh, glossy look on it, a little uh, oil sheen, shined it on up. And he said, I'm stepping out. Mm. All right, Brian. Oh, the Prophet Mosley. Mm -hmm. Put some Aquanet on that bad boy. Pure Aquanet. All right, the Prophets are together. Mm -hmm. That was at Bishop uh, Bernard Jordan's 40th anniversary. For Eric, Eric, Bishop Figueroa's 40th anniversary in New York. All right. He had his black one on the name that night. <clears throat> he was going casual. He didn't want to. He didn't want to throw it. Ooh, now this one, y'all. This, this one. This was the fluff out. He fluffed that bad boy. He bumped him in. He probably put. You know, he probably put the curlers in. You know, the curlers with the toilet paper, like your grandma used to do. Toilet paper, you know, on the roll, little curlers. Oh, yeah, he fluffed that bad boy out this time. Oh, that was good, Brian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little pomade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't see Jamal. Where, where is it at, Pam? Well, you know, okay, Mosley, we, we, we get the picture. I told y'all he wore wigs. Don't nobody want to believe me, but okay. Okay, it ain't a wig, y'all. It ain't a wig. Where is it at, Pam? Okay, wait a minute. Is it on? Is it on Jamal's or on his? Let me see. You know, I got my burner for uh, uh, Whitehead because he blocked my regular page. He blocked me. He blocked me years ago. Let me see. Oh yeah, I found it. I found the answer. Oh yeah, let me show y'all. Oh, ain't it cute? Oh, he was so happy. He couldn't wait to post that picture of him and Jamal. Oh, greasy, greasy lips himself. Let me let me let y'all see this one. Y'all hit like. Or y'all just laying in the bed touching yourself and listening to me. Don't do that. Don't give yourself the pleasure. Give me some pleasure of a like. Could you at least do that? Give me the pleasure of a like. Could you do it? Mm. Okay, we're going to. It's going okay. It worked, you know, because my stuff be shady sometimes. All right, thank you, Shelby. All right, God bless your ministry. God's gonna bless you tenfold. About ninety dollars. Yeah, yeah, he gonna bless you, sir. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about. It. It's done. Say it's done, Shelby. Say it's done. It's done. Options. What is it at? Okay, let me. 
Let me upload that real quick, y'all. Hold, hold, please. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. It better show up, too. You know, my thing be tripping. Be running slow. Mm. Oh, man. Is it going to do that? Don't do that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It didn't pop up. I hate when it don't pop up. Oh, man. Is it in here? Oh, there it is. There it is. I got it, y'all. Mm. It's a shame. He's so proud of himself. But, you know, like I said, Jamal Bryan, he's like a social media whore. Anything to give him some numbers, anything to get him some new, some, some visibility on some new cooch. I mean, he's there. He He's with it. Oh, look at a couple of grief. Now, let me tell you about Jamal. Jamal looking a little oldish these days. He better grab him a wife before. He, he, I think he doing a Noel Jones where, you know, things ain't quite going to be working as good as you as they used to. So I might as well go ahead and give me a wife, you know. Hmm. Y'all get ready for the for the interview. He's doing a um he interviewed um Whitehead interviewed him on didn't he say it was coming out? Oh no, that's his podcast is coming out on that particular time. But let me see if it's on Jamal's page yet. Uh let's see. If it is on his page. Probably not. When is it supposed to drop, Pam? You got two hands. <laughs> Most people like it. Don't you talk about child, please. You being nasty. Let me see what Jamal talking about. Well, the Carnal Church Sector headquarters is online. Oh, that's me. That's right. Y'all, did y'all um subscribe to the Carnal Church Sector page on YouTube? Would you do that for me? Appreciate it. And just so y'all know, I want to show y'all. Is the interview the interview is going to drop? I guess it's going to drop pretty soon. And this is Jamal uh, Bryant's YouTube page. Uh, let's see. I don't think it's on there yet. He be on there. If y'all didn't know, he do uh, interviews. Uh, so it's it's gonna pop on. Uh, I guess he think he's Shannon Sharp. He Club Shay Shay. Club JJ. This Club JJ. J J Mall, so it ain't on here yet. Greasy lips ain't on here yet, y'all. But y'all may want to go at it if you want to hear the. You know, he's gonna talk about his daddy Miller. You know, he's gonna talk about they made him <coughs> the victim. You know, the villain instead of the victim. You gotta hear that. We're gonna have to hear him talk about touching my not my anointed. We gotta hear him talk about that. We gotta see, you know, we gotta hear him say that there was an informant. They was chasing him, trying to get Eric Adams. That's why they was chasing him, trying to make him an informant. Now he got a new thing where Pauline Anderson's uh, son was an informant. Now he was the informant for uh, 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 the folks. And of course, he's coming out. He said they're going to do a documentary and all the networks are chasing after him no matter what he has to do because they need him more and more. So they're chasing after Whitehead. Even though I will say, like we said the other day, really B, you know, really B is the, um, and Pam is the leader of the, uh, <laughs> Of the whitehead information, and then rarely B comes in uh, close say. Uh, <laughs> but he says, you know, I believe a documentary on him will be wonderful, actually. What's your page name? Oh, let me grab my page. Let me grab my page. This is my page. The con and I'll put it in the chat. I need you more and more. More and more, more and more, more and more. You some of y'all gonna sing that tomorrow. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I have to do. I need more and more. So if I, if, if everybody can 
subscribe to the St. J. I'm trying to get to at least 500 over there. Will you do that for me? Did I put it in the chat? It didn't show up. Let me see. Paste. Hmm. Let me go back. Because it didn't show up. Copy. Oh, I don't think I copied it. Let's see. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. So everybody, click on there and become a subscriber to the Carnor Church Sector Headquarters. What's up? I am Vicky, Vicky Marie. You woke up out of your slumber to come talk to us tonight? What did I miss anything? Oh, man. Okay. All right. I think I got everything. Okay. All right. Let me take old Greasy off the... Get out of here. Bye. 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 Move. 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 Enough is enough with you. July 1st can't come soon enough. Thank you. I subscribe. Yes. Thank you. Was you over there lipping and lapping? Or was somebody lipping and lapping on you? And you said... Beep. Move. 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 I got to go. Be with St. James over here talking about. Leave me alone. Get back to you later. I'll get back to you later. All right. All right. I think I'm good, good for the night, y'all. Y'all get up and go to somebody's church tomorrow. Do something or, or listen to somebody tomorrow. Do something. Do something with your life, with your carnal lives. Listen to something. Go over there and listen to Jake's. Maybe he's going to have Torrey preach so we can all go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Lord Jesus, that Torrey. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, Jesus, he's about as anointed. <laughs> yes. mm. I ain't going to say whitehead, but I, let me tell you this, whitehead is more exciting. I will say that. And if I got to listen to somebody, at least I know we listening to whitehead as a joke and nothing he's saying is true. Yeah. Now go back to sleep. Right. <laughs> All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all. And if you do want to uh, give a pre-offering, uh, I know y'all get y'all not gonna give Holly nothing tomorrow anyway at your churches. Go ahead and uh, assist uh, St. James. I will be on the road next week um, on a mission for the St. James show. So make sure that you are always donating and making sure that things are okay, so I can come back and give you what I experienced. All right. So, and then we also have Zale, which is the St. James show at ATD.net. Um, and PayPal is always ready for your donation at the St. James show. And there's my email address. If you would like to email me any stories, email me any, um, um, just want to tell me something, feel free to email me there at the St. James show. I'm also soliciting um, I want to know what your pastor or a pastor in your city is doing right. <clears throat> I want to hear about it. All right. I want you to send me a short blurb of what your pastor is doing or a pastor that you know about and what they're doing right. Are they doing something in the community? Are they, <clears throat> are they, you know, I want to know what they're doing, what they're doing for the church, what they're doing for the community. If it's up on up, up and up, I want to highlight those people those pastors and ministries as well. So feel free to send me an email and let me know what's going on. Always remember that super chat and super sticker do work. All right. So thank you so much again, everybody. I want you to have a wonderful night's rest. And also there you go. Thank you, Jacqueline. St. James Eats. Run over there to St. James Eats and also subscribe there. All right. <clears throat> I am going to be having I'm going to ask my friend. Um, I'm going to, it's mods for Darius Cooks. I know some of you hate him, some of you love him. So I'm going to see if he'll come over there at St. James Eats and do something with me over there. So make sure that you are subscribed to St. James Eats. Good night, Saints. Y'all have a wonderful evening. And uh, we're going to get up. We're going to get up and out of here. Thank you so much for listening and for staying up with me. I know it's late on the East Coast and it's even late over here, 11 o'clock, 1101 over here on the West Coast. So thank you so much uh, for listening to Old Boring St.
St. James. God bless you.